Okay, that's the There's a rare solar storm heading toward Earth. Some call it a solar tsunami. An eruption of gases shooting off the sun as powerful as a million nuclear explosions. Check that out. Uh, if you're in the right part of the country, you might be able to see this in the sky later tonight, but could also cause some, well, some power outages across the country. Corey Powell is the editor-in-chief of Discover Magazine. Back with us here. Nice to see you, Corey. It's nice to be here. A solar tsunami. Sounds serious. What's going on here? Uh, so this is... Basically, it's a giant storm. It's a, it's a chunk of the sun blowing off, heading our way. We're talking about a, about a billion tons of superheated gas coming our way 1,000 miles a second. The There's a reason they call these things yeah. astronomical numbers. <laughs> it's the kind of thing you do not want to get in front of. Right. Uh, this is some video on screen. What is this? So this is, so this is what happens when that tsunami hits, hits the Earth. Uh, first, uh, the Earth has a magnetic field that blocks some of it. Uh, it spills over, it hits the atmosphere. Uh, fortunately, the atmosphere stops it before it hits us. But along the way, it lights up all the gases in the atmosphere, and that's what you see as, as, as an aurora. It picture. makes this, this kind of curtain-like glow in the atmosphere. Uh, okay, so that's what's going on. What's the good news in this that you have found? Well, the good news is, first of all, it's beautiful. Uh, you're not going to see it in, in a big city, but you get out to dark skies, especially in the, you know, in the northern part of the country uh, and, and in Canada. Um, you get a really good look at this thing, and it's it's spectacular. You can see it's, it's like it's almost like uh, like curtains of light in the, sure in, the, in the sky, yeah. and the you know the atmosphere blocks it out, so it's not it's not dangerous to you. Uh, if you're if you're flying, especially if you're flying uh, like a polar route, like New York to Tokyo, that kind of thing, you get a little extra dose of radiation. Uh, I so, think we book a flight tonight. Well, right well, well try, try to stay local. Try to stay local. Stay stay local. Hmm. Uh, power outage is possible. What's the bad news in this? Right. I mean the, the this, this storm actually, you know, it, it, it's getting a lot of attention because the sun's been quiet for quite a while. Um, but it's, the sun's been more active than this before. When the, the sun gets even, and, and it probably will be again over the next couple of years, you're going to be seeing more and more of this because it's entering another period of high activity. It is remarkable to watch here. But, you know, we rely so much on satellites these days and so much on GPS. Right. Could, so, could it have an impact? Absolutely. So, so you know, down, down here on the surface, we're kind of protected by the, by the air. Um, up in orbit... You know, your, your satellite TV, your GPS, your telecommunication satellites, all those things are, are vulnerable. And we actually now, you know, all those NASA satellites out there deliver space weather forecasts so that the operators can try to shut down their satellites at the key times. But th those, those, a really big storm will, will knock them out. Well, you say you won't see it in New York. You will see it where? What part of the country has the best shot? Um, pretty much, I mean, in, anywhere out in dark skies, you know, I mean, from mid-latitudes north, just, uh, you just need to be out somewhere where you can really see the stars. Time? Um, when it gets dark, pretty much when it gets dark, it, it, the timing's great because uh, there's, the moon doesn't rise till really late. Got nice dark skies. Get out into the suburbs of the country, look generally north, look for just these very subtle. You might even not notice it first, and yeah. you just sort of see this Check out. It's very, shimmering very, it's curtain of light. A, a dance of light. You're right. Be, Corey, thanks for coming. It'll be pretty in. cool. Uh, that's the first thing on the story. You can also check out more pictures on our website. Uh, head to foxnews.com. Check out our slideshow. It's online right now to see more of that. Corey, nice to see you.